Hello and welcome to Breathe Yoga. My name is Autumn and we're going to be doing a flow dedicated to my YTT 2020. Um, you know who you are. So this is a basic flow and we're going to start off today in easy pose. So let's get started. Find a comfortable space wherever you are. The things that you'll need today are mainly just a block. If you don't have a block for what we're doing, maybe you find a can of something um, or a really sturdy book or even a shoebox that I have found works really well for what we're doing today. Um, I don't have a mat, so you don't even need a mat. You can practice out on the grass or on a carpet or on a floor, wherever you find some grounding. Today, this will be the front of my mat and this will be the back. So we're gonna start off today relaxing down through your eyes. Maybe they're closed, maybe they're finding a soft gaze out ahead of you at some focal point. Relax down through your hips, your shoulders, your head. Allowing yourself to gently come into your practice today. I don't know what your day looked like. Maybe it was a red letter day and you're finishing off with a nice practice or maybe it was one of the worst and you are using this practice as a way of helping you to connect. Whatever your day looked like, maybe it's somewhere in between there. We're allowing ourselves to connect with our breath. Noticing where your breath is. A lot of times if you're in a state of activity or stress, your breath is up in your chest and it's, and it's shallow. So in this moment, we're gonna see if we can start to let the breath come from a much deeper place in our belly. And see if you can lift it right to the rib cage, feeling your ribs expand with your inhales, feeling your belly grow fuller. And then with your exhales, release that breath, feel the ribs, feel your belly come back to center and down. So with our inhales, we feel that expansion and openness. And with our exhales, we feel that release, that drawing back in. Nice full breath in. And your exhales can be silent or they can have a little bit of noise as you force that breath through your nose. Nice big breaths in here. Imagining warm, peaceful energy filling your entire being. And on your exhales, releasing any tension, tightness, stress, pressure, fears, worries. Breathing in new life new ideas, courage, and calm, and exhale, releasing things that no longer serve you. We'll take two more breaths here. And if you'd like to include an intention, bring that into your practice today, you can. Your intention is your goal, your focus, your prayer for today. So maybe it's something very physical that you'd like to draw from this strong physical class. Maybe it's something more spiritual that you're trying to dive into a little bit more deeply. Whatever your intention is, we're bringing that to our practice. And as you move through practice, when those ideas come back to your mind, allow yourself to just explore that. Notice what position you're in, notice how you're feeling, and let that, let our practice inspire our intention, and let our intention infuse itself into our practice so that we start to unite body, mind, spirit, which is what the purpose of yoga is. So we'll take another breath in here. And exhale. 
and then we're going to come onto our knees. I'm going to face the front of my mat, which would be here. Palms come under your shoulders, knees come right under your hips, and you can relax your body into this pose. Allow your belly to hang down towards the earth. Inhale, lift through the chest and chin up towards the sky. And on your exhale, round through your spine. Make sure your palms are right under your shoulders as you round through your back. Inhale, scoop your belly and chest through for cow pose. Exhale, draw the belly in and round as you press away into your cat pose, relaxing through your neck. Inhale, scoop it through, draw the head the neck, the shoulders, the chin up, exhale, rounding, finding some space, one more breath in, scoop it through, inhaling, and on your exhale, round it through, good, and then we'll come back to a neutral spine, draw your knees together, we're going to bring all of our weight onto our left palm. And with our next breath in, we're going to inhale the right leg up to the sky, turn the toes towards center. And then we're going to bring the weight onto the right palm, lift the left palm ahead of you. And we're going to take a breath in here in balancing tabletop. You can curl your left toes under or leave them flat, depending on what feels good. Inhale again in, and exhale lengthening, good, one more breath in here, lengthen through left fingers and right heel, and this time with your exhale, bring left elbow to touch right knee, little crunch there, inhale, extend, lengthen, open through center, Exhale, draw everything in, contract and find strength here. Good. Another breath in here, lengthen through left fingertips and right heel. Exhale, draw it in, find some strength. Good. One more inhale here, lengthen. And exhale, palms and knee come back to the earth. You can sway side to side here. So if you'd like a little bit more stability, you can curl this right, the right toes under or you can leave them flat. I'm gonna leave mine flat. We're gonna inhale the left leg back. Behind us, turn the toes in towards center and exhale. Good, next breath in, lift your right hand up to face the center. Exhale, strong pulling in through pelvic floor and belly. Breath in, lengthen out one more time. And on your exhale, draw right elbow into left knee. Feel that in the belly, little crunch. Breath in, lengthen. Exhale, draw it in. Good. One more breath in here, lengthen. Lift through the neck, lift through the fingertips and heel. Exhale, draw it in. Good, next breath and lengthen out. And on your exhale, bring your palms and your knees back down to the earth, swaying side to side gently. We're gonna widen our knees just a little here. Toes come closer together behind you. And then bring your hips down towards your heels. You can either Bring your palms out ahead of you and let the forehead, the third eye, rest right here on the block. Or if it feels good, you can remove the block and bring your head closer to the earth. If you're dangling it all here with your neck, bring a block or a pillow under your neck, under your head, to support your neck and help you to really enjoy this pose without any tension or stress on your muscles. If none of this feels good on your shoulders, maybe you've got something going on there, you can always bring your elbows right under your shoulders and relax here, or you can bring your palms behind you. 
and that will take a lot of the pressure off of your shoulders. We'll take two more breaths in here. I'm going to stay in a modified version of this pose. And exhale. Good. One more breath in here. And exhale. Good. Next breath in. Remove the block if you had it. Come back onto all fours. And exhale right here, drawing your knees in closer together. Curl your toes under and bring your palms forward if you have longer arms or leave them right under your shoulders if that feels better. We'll inhale, lifting our hips up to the sky with a strong belly. And with our exhale, we're pressing back into our down dog. So our hips are nice and high. Maybe you come on the toes to help you to find some space, lengthening from wrists all the way up to shoulders, up to the hips, relaxing through your neck. And then when you're ready, start to ease the heels down. They don't need to touch the earth. Maybe you're walking your dog here, bending one knee and lengthening through opposite heel. Maybe you're widening your stance and moving side to side or in a circle to really lengthen through and open up through inner thighs and hips. Maybe you're lifting one leg and coming into three-legged down dog. Whatever is going to help you to open up here and to find some rest in this resting pose. We'll take another breath in here, relaxing through the neck, relaxing through the spine. And exhale. Good. On your next breath in, we're going to bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, walk, step, or hop to the front of your mat to fold. As we come into our forward fold, you can keep a nice bend in the knees here to help you to really root into the earth and get some groundedness through your fingertips or your palms. Relaxing through the neck. If it feels good, you can lengthen through the knees. Relaxing through the neck still, maybe swaying side to side. Finding some openness here in your hamstrings. Good. We'll take another breath in. Palms can come right under the shoulders or you can bring them behind you. On your next breath in, we're going to bring the bottoms of our palms right to the bottoms of our knees, pressing into the shins so that we can draw the chest and chin forward. Gaze comes down past our heels. Breath in, pulling in through pelvic floor and belly. And exhale. Good. We'll take one more breath in here. And on your exhale, come back into your forward fold. We're going to move on from here. So a little bend in your knees. Next breath in. Sweep the palms to the sky as you stand tall. Exhale. Thumbs down past your head. Past your heart. And down into Tadasana. So you can stay facing the front of your mat. I'm going to turn towards you so that you can see a little bit better. We're going to keep a little space in between our feet just so that our hips are nice and relaxed. If you have very narrow hips, you can bring your feet in closer together. And then we're going to ground. So ground into your heels. Keep your toes nice and light. We're going to lift through the kneecaps and feel your thighs engage all the way to the tops of your hip flexors. You have two different spaces, front or back, to pull from at the pelvic floor. We're going to pull right through the center of that, all the way up into the ribs. And then from the sides of your waist, we're going to draw in to connect the belly, bring it in towards spine and press down. That space where our pelvic floor is meeting our belly is our core. That's our fire center. That's from where we find our heat and our fire to move us through our, our uh, practice. We're going to lift up tall through our spine, all the way up to the crown. Shoulders roll up and back. Palms face forward. Chest is nice and tall. Gaze is nice and tall. And this is how we face our day. With all of this strength, with all of this rootedness, we'll take a breath in here. 
And exhale, I'm gonna face the front of my mat. Inhale, sweep the palms up to the sky, pull in through pelvic floor, hands touch above you. Exhale, split the palms and float into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, plant the palms, hop or step back into your chaturanga, lowering halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog, cobra, squeeze the bum. Exhale, down dog. Good, breath in, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, hop, step, or walk to the front of your mat to fold. Breath in, halfway lift, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, fold. We'll try that again. Breath in, sweep your palms up to the sky. Lift, maybe add a little back bend. Exhale, split the palms and float into your forward fold. Breath in, halfway lift. Exhale, hop or step back into your chaturanga. Lowering halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Good. Breath in, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, hop, step, or jump to the front of your mat to fold. Breath in, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the palms up to the sky, lift through pelvic floor all the way to your fingertips. Exhale, float into your forward fold. Good, breath in, halfway lift, lengthening. Exhale, hop or step back into your chaturanga. Remember, you can always come to your knees here to lower as well, for 90 degrees at the elbows. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Let's try that again. Breath in. Bend the knees. Look forward. Exhale, walk, step, or hop to the front of your mat to fold. Building some heat here. Breath in. Halfway lift. Lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale from your feet through your pelvic floor up to your fingertips. Exhale, Float into your forward fold. Breath in, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, press up and away. Exhale, down dog. We're gonna try that one more time. Breath in, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, walk, step or hop to the front of your mat to fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthening, chest and chin come through. Exhale, fold. Breath in, last time for sun A. Sun salutation, samaskara. And fold into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, stir your namaskar A. Exhale, walk. Or step back into Chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Good. Breath and bend your knees. Look forward. Exhale, walk, step or hop to the front of your mat to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Find your breath here. Breath in, sweep your palms up to the sky, but this time I'm just going to face you for now. Let your palms just face each other and your feet are a little bit less than hip width apart. So they don't have to touch all the way because when we come into chair pose, I don't want your knees to knock into each other. So you can leave a little bit of room here. Pull in through pelvic floor, strong belly, and then as you exhale, we sink gently into our chair pose. So now I'll face the front of my mat. Breath in. And exhale. Good, one more breath in here. 
and exhale down. Next breath in, stand tall. Palms touch, exhale, switch your palms, float into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through the chest. Exhale, hop or step back, chaturanga. Remember, you can always come to your knees here. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Good, next breath in, right leg comes to the sky. Exhale, bend your knees and bring the foot up to the right hand side of your mat. Good, left foot is flat, 45 degree angle as if it's to the upper left hand side of your mat. We'll take a breath in here, pulling in through pelvic floor all the way to fingertips. Exhale into your right knee. Breath in, warrior one, feel that strength, exhale. One more breath in, drawing in from left foot all the way up to your fingertips. Exhale, next breath in, face the left side of your mat, palms touch, right foot faces front, left foot is at a, a parallel with the back of your mat. And then we're gonna exhale, come into our warrior two. So palms are parallel with the earth. That right heel is in line with the left arch. And exhale, good. One more breath and pull in through pelvic floor, strong belly. Exhale, warrior two, flip your palms. Breath and lift through the right palm. Left hand is relaxed behind you. Exhale, cartwheel down, frame your right foot for a right lunge. Inhale, step right foot back up or into a lunge. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog, left side. Breath and left leg up to the sky. Exhale, bring it in to the upper left hand side of your mat. Right foot is flat for warrior one feet. Good, next breath in, lift palms up to the sky with an inhale. Exhale, sink into warrior one. Good, breath in. That back leg, right leg is at a 45 degree angle, so to the upper right hand side of your mat. Exhale, sink into that left knee. Left knee doesn't go over the left ankle. Good, one more breath in here from the pelvic floor all the way up through the fingertips. Exhale down into your warrior one lunge. Next breath. Inhale, turn to the right side, the long side of your mat, palms touch, left foot faces front. Exhale down into your warrior two. Breath in, right foot is parallel with the back of your mat, left foot faces front. Exhale, down into your warrior two. Try to keep your palms parallel with the earth. One more breath in through the pelvic floor, strong belly. Exhale, gaze is right out ahead of you like a fierce warrior. Flip the palms. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Left hand comes up and above you. Exhale, cartwheel down, frame your left foot. We're gonna start flowing this. Inhale, step the left foot back up or onto your knees. Exhale, rock forward and lower, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Good, breath and bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, walk, step or hop to the front of your mat to fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthening through your spine. Exhale, fold, breath in, palms come up, palms face each other, exhale, sink into Utkatasana, lightning bolt, breath in, stand tall, hands come up and above you, exhale, float into your four, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through your spine, tailbone to crown. Exhale, plant the palms, hop or step back into your chaturanga. Inhale, push it forward, up dog. 
Exhale, down dog, right thigh. Breath in, right leg is up. Exhale to the upper right hand side of your mat, left foot is flat. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, warrior one, just once. Inhale to the left side of your mat, palms touch. Exhale, warrior two. Flip your palms. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Find the movement, find the rhythm. Exhale, cartwheel down, frame the right foot. Inhale, send right foot back up or onto your knees. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Left side, inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale to the upper left hand side for warrior one, feet. Inhale, palms up. Find that smile within your soul. Exhale, lengthen into your warrior one with strength. Inhale, face the right side of your mat. Palms touch, left foot faces front. Exhale, warrior two, just once. Breath in, reverse your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel down and frame your left foot. Right foot faces front. Inhale, left foot back up or onto your knees. Exhale, lower, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Let's try that one more time. I know, I, I just heard everybody cheering when I said that. <laughs> Breath in, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale to the front of the mat to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Collect your breath here. Find some space. Exhale, fold. Good. Breath in. Sweep your palms up to the sky. Palms face each other parallel with your hips. Exhale, down into Utkatasana. Inhale, stand tall. Palms touch. Exhale, float into your forward fold. Good. Breath in, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, hop or step back into Chaturanga. 90 degrees at the elbows. Inhale, push chest and chin forward. Exhale, down dog. Breath in, right leg up to the sky. Exhale to the right side of the mat. Left foot is flat. Inhale up with the palms from pelvic floor to fingertips. Exhale, sink into your warrior one. Inhale to the left side, palms touch, right foot faces the front. Exhale, warrior two. Flip the palms, breath in reverse, your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel down, frame your right foot. Inhale, send right foot back up or onto your knees. Exhale, lower, chaturanga with strength. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, left side, last side. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale to the upper left hand side of the mat. Right foot is flat, 45 degrees. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Palms to the sky. Exhale down. Warrior one. Breath in, face the right side of your mat. Palms touch, left foot faces front. Exhale, warrior two. Flip the palms, breath in. Left hand lifts, right hand is relaxed. Exhale, cartwheel down, frame that left foot. Inhale, left foot back up or onto your knees. Exhale, rock forward and lower, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog, stay right here. So I'm gonna encourage you to pause the video here. If you need a little break, 
Maybe you come down onto your knees. If I had room spray, I would spray it for you guys right now, but I don't. I mean, I do. You know what I'm saying. So find some space here. Maybe pause the video for just a second, grab some water, but come right back. And then we're going to start again in our down dog. So I'm going to get started facing the front of my mat, doing down dog, and we're going to move on to some balancing poses. So let's get back into downward facing dog. Find the rest in this resting pose. Relax through your neck. Press away from the wrist. Back towards your heels. If you feel any pressure, if you look like this, and you just feel like your wrists are right under your shoulders and you're doing a plank dog, don't do that. Walk your feet in. Walk your palms back. And start to bring the weight back and up towards your hips. And relax through your neck so that this feels really comfortable. No stress. One more breath in here. And exhale. Good. Draw your feet in together. Inhale, lift right leg up towards the sky behind you. Exhale, bend the knees and bring it to the upper right hand side of your mat. Warrior two feet, that left foot is parallel with the back of your mat. On your next inhale, take your left hand, cartwheel it up. Right hand faces front, left behind you. Exhale, warrior two. Good, next breath in. So what we want to do is grab your block. I'm going to show you two blocks in case you have two books or two pans. If you're like, what? Pause the video and find some books or some cans or whatever you can find, some shoe boxes, and find, meet me right back here. Good. So on our next inhale, we're going to lift the left hand up and over, right hand faces front, and exhale into your warrior two. Bring the block up to the front. Inhale, press the left hip back and hover towards the front. Exhale, that block to the inner part of your right um, calf or ankle. Bring your left hand to your waist. And on your inhale, lift the shoulder up towards the sky. Turn your waist so that the left shoulder is open towards the sky and you're finding some groundedness through right and left legs. If it feels good, bring your left palm up towards the sky, left wrist steps right on top of right, and exhale. Another breath in. And exhale, lengthening through the inner thighs. One more breath in here and then watch. Left hand faces front, and we exhale, lengthening to the front of our mat. Good. Breath in. Exhale. Draw the right side belly up towards the sky. Inhale, lengthening. And exhale. Good. One more breath in. And exhale. Good. So we're going to begin to turn towards the front of our mat. Left hand draws down to the block. Right hand is on the right. Turn the left toes towards center. And then bending through the right knee, start to bring the left foot up towards the front so that there's equal weight on both heels as we come into pyramid. Let me make sure you guys can see me. Good. Take a breath in here, stay right here, and exhale, lengthen through your neck, relaxing. You can bring your blocks down to a lower setting or the lowest setting. Maybe you remove the blocks and bring fingertips or palms down to the earth, or you can walk your fingertips behind you or your palms. Really what we're working on is feeling length through this right hamstring. Good, one more breath in here. Exhale. 
Next breath in, bend through your right knee, coming forward a bit. Draw your palms forward. Keep your blocks or your shoe boxes right under you. And with your next inhale, press off of this left foot and come on to the right foot. So all the weight is on the right foot. Turn your left toe in towards center to avoid opening up through the left hip if you want to stay right here. Otherwise, if you do want to open up through the left hip, relax through your left foot, bring all the weight onto your left, your right foot, and your right palm, the right block. Left hand comes onto the left hip, and you start to open up through the left shoulder, just like we did in triangle. Flex your left foot and lift it up into half moon. Maybe left palm comes up to the sky if that feels good. Good, we'll take another breath in here. Exhale. Good, one more breath in here. And on your exhale, bring your left hand down to the block or to the mat. Square your shoulders and hips to the earth. Bend through the right knee as you lower your left toes to the earth. Leave your blocks where they are, palms come down right under your shoulders. Step right foot back into downward facing dog. Good. We'll stay right here. Take a breath in. And exhale. We'll try that one more time. Breath in. If you're tired, that means you're doing it right. <laughs> exhale. Good. Next breath in. Left foot comes to the sky and on your exhale you're going to draw it to the upper left hand side of your mat right foot becomes parallel with the back of your mat left uh, heel is in line with your right arch you can grab your blocks bring them back so that they're right under your shoulders that's always essentially what blocks are for and then we're going to inhale Lift your palms up and exhale, come into your warrior two. I'm going to switch my blocks now. Inhale, drop right hip back and lengthen out through the left hand. Exhale, draw that left palm down to the inside of your right foot and right hand comes to your waist. Good. Inhale. Maybe you open up through your right shoulder, gaze comes to the sky, and exhale right here if you'd like more. Inhale, right palm up to the sky, right wrist is right over top of left. Exhale. One more breath in here. Turn your right palms to face the front. And on your exhale, lengthen out. Good, breath in, pulling through pelvic floor, strong belly. Exhale, lengthen through right fingertips to the front of the mat. One more breath in, and exhale. Good, so draw gently, slowly. Your right palm back down to that right block. Make sure the blocks are even. Turn your right toes to face the front of your mat. Bend through your left knee and bring your right foot up so that both heels are equidistant. They both have equal weight in them. We'll take a breath in here. Stay on your blocks if you'd like, high, medium, or low. And exhale. Or you can remove your blocks altogether. Fingertips or palms come to the earth. Exhale, or maybe palms come behind you. Breath and find your space, whatever's working for you. And exhale. One more breath in here, relaxing through your neck. Exhale. Next breath in, lift, fold through left knee. Grab onto your blocks again, bring them out ahead of you. To where your shoulders will be. Bend through the right knee and inhale, lift the right heel up towards the sky. Turn the left toe, the right toes in 
towards center if you're going to keep your hips and shoulders squared to the earth. If you'd like to open up into half moon, relax through your right foot and begin to open up through the right hip, right palm comes onto the right waist. Or you can lift right hand up towards the sky so that right hand stacks right on top of left. Lift through the right leg even more, half moon. Breath and just breathe here. And exhale, at this point in the practice, we're just having fun. One more inhale here. And exhale, good. Breath and right palm comes back down to your block. Square your shoulders and hips and lower through right toes down. Move the palms back to be in line with your left foot. And exhale, bring left foot back to down dog. Take a breath in here. And exhale, relax through your neck. One more breath in here. And exhale down. Good. Next breath in, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, walk your step to the front of your mat to fold. So our feet are about hip width apart. You can remove your blocks to the side for now. You're gonna take your weight onto your heels so that toes are nice and light. We wanna ground through the heels right now. And then you're going to bring the palms under the foot. So we're gonna take our left palm and bring it under the left sole of our foot. The left toes might graze on to your left wrist right there. Mine are grazing onto my bracelets because that's how I roll. Right palm is coming under your right sole of your foot. Toes are grazing your wrist or bracelet. And we're just finding ourselves in gorilla pose. If you'd like to, you can bend through the knees. Maybe this doesn't feel good on your hamstrings. And this bending the knees is gonna help that. Or you can bend through your elbows if you have especially long arms and it feels good to just let them relax to your sides. We'll take a breath in here. I have especially long limbs, so you're welcome. Good. One more breath in here. And exhale. Good, next breath in. Bring your palms back under your shoulders and just come onto your knees. Good. So we're gonna walk our palms up our legs to our waist. You have a couple of options here for camel. You can bring your palms into a fist, bring them to the low back and just move side to side as you need or massage your low back. Maybe you wanna bring your thumbs onto your waist right at your spine Lengthen through your belly, through your spine, and relax the neck and chin open. Or if you know it's in your practice, you can keep your knees nice and wide. Curl the toes under if that feels more supportive. Bring one palm, so I'm bringing right palm to right heel. Left hand comes up, and then left palm comes down onto left heel. Inhale up through the belly, up through the chest, through the chin and relax through your neck as we come into camel pose. Inhale and exhale wherever you are. Another breath in and exhale. One more breath in here and exhale. Good. We'll take an inhale here, and on your exhale, draw your chin into chest and start to walk your hands forward into all fours. Good. And then you're just going to relax back down onto your bum into a cross-legged seated position at the top of your mat. So that's the top of my mat, but I'm going to face you for this so you can see what I'm doing. So if you would like to, you have your shoebox or your pillow, a bolster, um, or a couch cushion. 
um, or your can of something, you can bring that um, into the front of you. We're gonna open our legs nice and wide and we're gonna come into a double pigeon, dub pigeon. So we're gonna start by bending through our right knee, bringing right ankle in towards center. You can, you can just come right to here like we did before, easy pose. If that's even too much, you can bring your feet nice and wide and come into a really wide um, bound angle pose or Baddha Konasana. Otherwise, you're gonna bring your, bolt, your uh, block right in front of your right shin and you're gonna bring your left ankle onto the block and you'll start to feel that in the left sciatic muscle, that muscle that goes from the left side of the spine all the way down your bum, your ankle, that's your sciatic muscle. Or you can bring left ankle onto your right knee um, or into your right hip flexor if that feels comfortable for you. But remember, nothing in yoga should ever hurt. Everything should always feel amazing. So if it hurts, it should hurt so good. If it doesn't hurt so good, back off. Um, and then you can keep your palms right here at your knees if that feels nice and you're sitting up comfortably tall through center or if you would like maybe you still have both blocks or both um, shoe boxes and you want to bring them out ahead of you that might feel really nice if you only have one maybe you're bringing that out in front of you high medium or low maybe you're removing the block altogether and fingertips are coming onto the floor or palms and then you have the option to so stay wherever feels comfortable. If your body is telling you to stop at any of the places that I told you earlier, you definitely want to listen. Otherwise, if you're like, I just can't feel anything, I'm so flexible, then you can bring your palms forward. And But what I don't want you to do is come so far forward that you um, bring your chin in towards your chest and you compromise your neck. What I would prefer you to do is to come forward just enough to where your neck still feels very, very comfortable and then bend through the elbows and come closer down. Good. So we'll take another breath in here and exhale. Good. One more breath in here and then we'll do the other side. And exhale. Good. So next breath in, come back to center. Bring your feet out ahead of you, coming into staff pose. Lengthen out through the feet and just tap the backs of your legs against the floor to help bring some circulation back to your legs. And then we'll try the other side. So legs are wide, left knee bends in towards center block comes right in front of the left shin or ankle right foot comes on top of the block if that feels good you'll start to feel that right away through the right the center of the right butt cheek or you can bring the right ankle onto the left knee anywhere from the knee all the way down to the hip flexor again stay here if that feels good or you can bring palms out ahead of you Maybe you bend through the elbows and maybe you come into um, a deeper expression of double pigeon. That's up to you. So we'll take a couple more breaths here. You can also bring your block, the tallest side, and bring it right where your forehead is and relax down. Two more breaths. Next breath in, ground into your palms, your blocks, and start to walk yourself back up to center. I know, listen, if you wanna just pause the video and remain in any of these poses, please feel free. Like, that is what life is all about. 
Feet come on ahead of you if you're ready. And start tapping out the backs of the legs. And then we're going to start to wind down. So I love props. All the props. Blankets, bolsters, blocks, straps. So you don't need this, but I always love to have a bolster handy when I'm starting to relax down. A couch cushion, a pillow, whatever you can find. Maybe a blanket rolled up. And then today, we're going to start with some twists and then we're going to come into Shavasana. So draw your knees into center, roll round through your back and start to roll gently into Shavasana or corpse pose. So we're going to start coming into Winfrey pose, rocking side to side, just allowing yourself to feel that openness through your hips your shoulders, your spine, your flanks, the sides of your belly. And then when you're ready, bring knees back to center, feet come down to the earth. Palms come out to a T so we feel grounded through our arms. Right foot lifts towards the sky, bend the knee, and bring the top of the right foot under the left knee. Keeping your right palm and your right shoulder grounded, Start to send your knees over towards the left side of your mat, relaxing down. If you would like to use your bolster or a block or a book or a pillow here, you can bring that to your left side and let the right knee relax down onto it. I love anything that makes yoga feel even more comfortable. So whatever you have, use it. And then maybe your gaze comes over towards the right. And release here with your breath. So with your inhales, pull from as deep within you as you can. And with your exhales, release into the stretch even more. One more breath in here. And exhale. Good. Next breath in. Gently press into the earth with your palms and lift your knees back to center. Bring your heels down to the earth and readjust through your hips and shoulders so that you feel even and comfortable on your mat or on your floor or on the grass or on the beach. Both. And then keeping your palms where they are. We're going to lift our left leg up to the sky, bend through the left knee, and bring your left toes under your right knee. And then grounding through left palm and left shoulder, we're going to send now our knees over to the right. So just like we did before, oof, I can feel my spine making noises telling me that it's so happy. Um, you can use your bolster or a pillow or blocks or book to bring under the left knee. Maybe your head turns over towards the left side now if you'd like a deeper twist here. And then just become more present in this moment. Where I am, I can see blue sky, I can see white clouds, I can see teeny tiny baby leaves and buds on the trees. So just enjoy the space that you're in right now. Become more present and just enjoy this moment that you've provided for yourself. One more breath in here. Find the silence, the stillness within as you exhale one more time out. Good. And then with your next breath in, press through your palms as you lift your knees back in towards center. Keep your feet grounded this time. Readjust through your hips and shoulders. You can remove the bolster if you would like to, but I'm going to give you two different options of how you can incorporate the bolster into your Shavasana. The first option is to place your bolster right behind you and just relax back onto it. This is especially nice if you've got anything going on in your shoulders or spine or back, upper back, neck, 
and you want to relax through that space in your body or if like me you have got a sway in your low back then it might feel really nice to bring your bolster under your knees or under your ankles and then to relax back and that's going to really help that low back to find some groundedness through the spine into the earth and then we're going to take a few moments here just to connect with our breath again so we're going to start off in complete silence allowing ourselves to tune in to the present moment becoming more aware of the sounds that you do hear the sounds of where you are in your present moment And then noticing your breath. Noticing your inhales as they help you to lift and to expand and to open up. And on your exhales, notice your body lowering and relaxing. Continue that rhythm of breath in. And that rhythm of your exhale out. Finding space and releasing tension, negativity, stress, and everything that no longer serves your highest good. We're gonna stay right here for a few more minutes starting to just become more natural, more at ease with our own breath, starting to find that inner stillness, that inner peace. This is the most important part of our practice. We can't always do a warrior one or two in a business meeting with certain confrontational moments or at a grocery store but you can learn to tune into your breath and to find that inner stillness, that inner peace, to practice that rhythm so that in any situation you can easily tune into it. our inner thoughts, all the internal chatter, allowing ourselves to connect more deeply with spirit. We'll take a few more breaths here. here and you can always pause the video here and just allow yourself to be in this space to connect to take full advantage of this space this calm this connection that you've created for yourself or if you're ready you can begin to lift your palms up overhead 
reaching from fingertips all the way to toes, noticing your breath, your body, the space around you, and coming back into Shavasana in a more awakened space, or you can roll to your right side, coming into Uh, fetus position on the right. We'll take a couple more breaths here. And then on your next breath, Maybe you roll to your right side and gently press away from the earth with your left palm and your feet as you come into easy pose. Thank you so much for practicing with me today and allowing me to be a part of your practice. Today we're going to finish our practice with a, a mudra that I find very, very um, opening and allowing you to receive everything that you need. So we're going to take your left palm to your heart space, your right palm up for receiving. And so with our inhales, we're bringing in everything that we need from spirit. And with our left palm, we're imagining that coming into our heart space and moving all throughout our spirit. So we'll take an inhale here. And exhale. Another breath in. And exhale. Good. One more breath in here. Receiving. Drawing that energy in. Exhale. Letting that move through your whole being. And then we'll take our hands to prayer on our third eye. And then back to our heart space as we bow and say, Namaste. Namaste.